Welcome everybody to week two of the 31 Days of Horror. We are now on our Horror Essentials. But what does that mean? Well, when I was cultivating this list, I wanted to put in some horror films that I felt are essential in the sense of the ones that everyone talks about. You know, what are the classics or the older horror movies that everybody should watch? And this is difficult because there are so many great horror films that pertain to this specific sub-genre. I mean, how pretentious can you be when you say, what are the most essential horror movies you need to watch? The most old school horror movies you need to watch? Well, as I was putting together the list, one that kept popping up is of course, Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. Now, the craziest part about Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho is that it's every bit as good now as it was when it was first released. And it's almost impossible to talk about. Because what's there left to talk about when you deal with this movie? I mean, bringing it down, even if you haven't seen this movie before, you've basically seen this movie before. It's heavily embedded in our culture, so much so that people know the idea of Norman Bates. People know about the infamous shower scene. The vibrating orchestral strings when that, uh, right? When these bad things are happening. It's hard to talk about because so much has been said about this essential movie. It's been marked as a cinematic piece of art. It has transcended the horror genre because people, you know, they're talking about how it has great atmosphere and it has so many beautiful shots and the editing is beyond impressive and how the camera work is great and it's memorable and it's often ranked not just as one of the best horror movies, but one of the best movies of all time, horror aside. So when you really break it down, you got to kind of look at it as it's a work of art, but just as importantly, it is still an essential horror movie. That movie still has great creepy scenes and elements that still hit after all these years. Rewatching it after so long and seeing the reveal once again that, you know, Norman Bates' mother has been dead and they show the, the cadaver body, her mummified remains, was horrifying. It was still a shocking thing to see. Watching as these people get murdered and you see so little, but just enough, everything mixed together makes this something that is quite a, a, a truly remarkable experience. If you've never watched Psycho before, I hope you enjoyed watching it because to me, this is one of those movies where I'm not alone in thinking this. It is an essential movie, not just to watch when it comes to horror, but it's an essential movie to watch just overall. This has changed the landscape of films in so many different ways. So yeah, Norman Bates and Psycho, this is one of those movies that stays with you forever.